it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm going to respond to a question that I got from Phil. Phil asked me how I felt, how do I feel about Abraham Hicks? So some of you may hear, know that name and know the work of Abraham Hicks, and some of you may not, it might be new to you, but because I'm a channeling video, I think it's a good idea to talk about this particular topic because I do watch Esther Hicks. She is an incredible channel, amazing. Like if there was like a mentor or anybody that I would look up to, it would be Esther Hicks because she's authentic, she's real, she's caring and compassionate, and she does her job like she's living on purpose. She trusts spirit, she trusts God, creator, universe to guide her, and she just shows up and she just does it. And that's incredible to me. And I do, so I watch her, I watch her videos on YouTube, I listen to audios when um, Esther is doing channeling of Abraham. So Abraham is a name for basically what you might translate into God or to a collective group of energy that would be like um, a council of light or a group of advisors that are connected to universal consciousness and knowing, which could be a variety of angels or deities or gods or goddesses or saints or all that, okay? It's like this oneness, okay? So Abraham is not a guy, he's not a dude, not one person, but she channels this. And, and shares a lot about what's considered the law of attraction. Now, law of attraction is a whole content, incredible abyss you could fall into studying if you wanted to do that. I don't know a whole lot myself about law of attraction. And the reason why I say that is because I'm very thick headed. I am the first person to admit that my ego mind is a challenge for me because I like, I like to have plans and goals and, and I'm stubborn and strong-willed and independent in ways that are not always helpful for me spiritually and for my spiritual growth. So I'll admit that. But Law of Attraction is, has a ton of different teachers that have spoken about that concepts of Law of Attraction. There are other people who've talked about Law of Attraction like Wayne Dyer, for example, who's also in the afterlife, who I've channeled here at Above Life Channel, who has a playlist, Wayne Dyer does. Louise Hay has spoken about um, Law of Attraction. She also has a playlist here at Above Life Channel. If you um, have heard about The Secret or the book The Secret or seen it on Netflix, there are lots of other kind of coaches and spiritual teachers that talk about um, the, the principles of, of attraction, attracting energy. It's not just about money or finances, but that's a big area of content um, for focus, but it can be about health and relationships and just so much about how our energy flows and how our energy works. And it's an incredible body of work. And, and I, I enjoy Esther Hicks and her channeling and Abraham Hicks. I do enjoy that. I've been able to tap into the energy of Abraham myself for myself. And I, it, it's big. It's like, it's kind of mind blowing for me that, and, but it's so that I can't even like use my mind to process it. This is going to be kind of sound weird, but I can't, even though I love to, I'm like, I love college and I'm intellectual in the regard to like, I like to learn stuff like that. Like, you know, give me a syllabus, a paper I have to write, give me something I have to read and do a report on, I can do that. But it's very separate kind of, that's a separate part of me than my spiritual work and, and my understanding of spirit and energy and all that, because it's less tangible, less tactile. And yet, when I connect with Abraham Hicks and the energy that, that Esther channels, when I'm listening to, there's tons of channels on YouTube that share Esther Hicks stuff. And usually it's in that format of like a rampage where she gets on kind of a thing and she talks to you and you can listen to it and it's 15 minutes long or 30 minutes long and it's awesome. 
or where you're listening to a big public group where she is doing a like a seminar or workshop and she travels around the United States and internationally and she also does cruises and things like that where there's a group of people and then people ask questions they get to sit in a hot seat they call it and so there's there's videos where there's specific topic videos about health or relationships or life after death or spirit guides or money or finding the, your lover or all that kind of stuff so you can find that all on YouTube different variations and things but it's all her work basically or her her translating the energy of Abraham right Co higher consciousness right love energy and wisdom and I have a ton I have a playlist for Abraham Hicks on my YouTube channel for myself my personal one for my stuff that I listen to and I literally will listen to it for like an hour and a half before I go to bed at night. I, if I want to feel good in the morning and I'm not in the mood to meditate, I will listen to Esther Hicks. I will get out of bed if I feel crabby and I will turn on Esther Hicks or if I just want to have a really good day or when I try to focus my energy because I just feel pressure or stress, I will listen to like an hour or more of just her responding to people's questions or her doing a rampage or I will listen to it because it's not something that I'm using my brain to understand and learn about. It's something that just permeates my body and brings that energy into my light body. And I just feel, I feel a confidence about life and a connection about flow of, of life naturally unfolding. And it just reaffirms and nourishes my energy is what it does. It's not intellectual. It's it's a different experience for me. So I haven't seen her in person yet. It's on my bucket list. I was going to go in May this year of 2020, but now with all the health stuff going on, I'm not going. So I'm going to have to put that on my list again. And depending on financial finances, maybe later this year or next year, it's going to probably have to wait till next year. But I do want to see her in person and feel that energy. And maybe maybe even meet her i've never really felt like that way about a spiritual teacher or anybody famous even um that i really wanted to meet them but esther i do i would really just like to 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 meet her and just say um i don't even know what i would say to her i just maybe thank you i, I she's inspiring to me because she's very authentic and i don't think people realize that or recognize that as much maybe so so thank you phil for that question about a law of attraction and abraham hicks i actually do have some videos about law of attraction so i've spoken about manifesting with wayne dyer um, i've spoken to david bowie about creating those things are touching on law of attraction principles and also i think i have i have some that i've recorded with robin williams too but i don't know if i've actually shared those publicly I, should, I, I recorded them like a year ago, but I don't know if I just did them for a small group. I can't remember, but so there are some um, topics um, on playlists for those those topics as well. So, all right. So this is Bridget just answering some of your questions and your comments. This one in particular was about Law of Attraction, Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks. So thank you so much for listening, for watching, and for supporting Above Life channel here on YouTube. Remember, the purpose is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, to encourage you to live your life, your best life. It's your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here.